All right, the last lab. The last lab is this one right here. Go get that one from Essential Documents. And I went and got this one because I just wanted to show you something, go over something with you on how you're gonna do it. The, what you're gonna be doing with this, this is what I would call a dry lab. A dry lab is one that if we were together in class, there's no chemicals involved, it's just all done on paper. Some people would wanna have a molecular model kit, but most people don't, and you certainly don't need one. Um, and a lot of these answers, I suppose, you could just look up online and, and fill them in. But your job for this lab is to fill in this table here, where it says analysis, and name, formula, Lewis structure, shape and molecular polarity. Those are the things you have to fill in. Now, an example is laid out for you here with the hydrogen. So the hydrogen, well, the formula for hydrogen is H2, and the formula is an H dash H. Hang on one second. I'm back. All right, so you've got the uh, formula. Now that Lewis structure formula, of course that is a Lewis structure, and um, by the time you actually do this lab out, I hope you will look at the suggested videos on Lewis structures and how to do them. You are gonna have to know how to do those. All right, so Lewis structures. Now, we all remember Lewis structures show bonds by that single line, it's a single bond. And if it's oxygen, we have a double bond. Oxygen is double bonded, hence the two lines. But we also have to make sure in your Lewis structures that you put the dots, little sprinkles as I call them, sprinkle in the unshared pairs of electrons. Make sure your Lewis structures show the unshared pairs of electrons. So if this is my oxygen, I would have a set of unshared pair here, unshared pair here, maybe an unshared pair, unshared pair here. But there are two sets of unshared pairs of electrons around an oxygen. Um, another example would be water. Uh, this is actually one on your, on your list, so I'm actually helping you out here a little bit by doing a Lewis structure. I think water is the next one. Yeah, it is. It's the next one down. You see here, water. So I'm doing the Lewis structure for you. The Lewis structure for water, you got an oxygen in the middle. It's connected to two hydrogens with the two unshared pairs of electrons. That's a complete Lewis structure. If you don't give me the unshared pairs of electrons, you'll lose a point. So don't, don't lose a point. If there are unshared pairs, sprinkle them around. Okay, sprinkle, a little, little sprinkles, like on your ice cream. So put those in. Also notice that I didn't make my water, I did not do this, because that is not a good Lewis structure for water because water is a bent or an angular molecule, which is one of those videos you gotta watch, yeah, the shapes of molecules. Okay, one of the suggested videos that I have embedded in to the module for that last section. Okay, the last section there's some you know, really good modules out there, are really good videos out there um, that were, were done, and I loaded those in for you. Really got to look at those. All right, so anyways, moving on. But here we go. You got the Lewis structure, then the shape. Well, the shape of that would be linear. And I just gave the shape for the water, which is the next one down. I gave that away already, and that is angular or bent. That, that means the same thing. You could say angular or you could say bent, either one. Then molecular polarity, well, hydrogen is nonpolar. It's a nonpolar molecule. It has the same ends. The ends look the same on each side, so look up molecular polarity. Okay, that's one of those videos. You've got to look that up. Uh, water is, is polar. Water is very polar. It's a very important polar compound. And it's polar because one side has a hydrogen while one side has an unshared pair of electrons. And that's different, and if you have different ends or different sides, you are a polar molecule. So just want to make that clear that this molecular polarity is referring to the, the uh, is it a polar or a nonpolar molecule? And those are your only two choices, all right? Polar or nonpolar molecule. The shapes you've got, five different basic shapes. Okay, watch the video, look those up. Uh, Lewis structures, drawing proper Lewis structures showing single, double bonds, maybe even a triple bond, and making sure you put all the extra unpaired, unshared pairs of electrons in there. And then the formula, you can just look up the formulas. You have the second page to this, and there are all the sweet, sweet molecules that you have to do, shoot this information for, and then answer those four questions down at the bottom. These four questions do refer back to your drawings up above, so refer 
up here when answering those questions. And that's your lab. That's, that's it. That's the last lab. You hand that in and you're good to go. Now, um, as I mentioned, uh, maybe you haven't watched that video yet, but I certainly hope you have. Uh, I mentioned that in a, in a video, the important end of the year uh, information for the class, that when it comes to labs, okay, we had seven of them all together, I think. I think seven labs. And I always drop the lowest lab grade. So if you've done every lab and you're okay with your lab grades, you don't have to do this lab. It won't count against you. If you haven't done every lab, then this would be one you would want to do because I will drop one that you didn't do. If you do this one and you've done all the labs, then if this is a good lab grade for you, I will drop a lower lab grade. So I always drop the lowest lab grade. So maybe this one will benefit you, maybe it won't. That's up to you, you make that decision. But uh, that's what you have to do for this lab. You just simply fill those charts in, uh, then move front and back and answer those four questions and that's it. All right, lab partner, you were the best lab partner that I had in this class all semester. You were awesome, I appreciate you, lab partner, and I hope you appreciated me as well, and we make a good team. Come back soon.